Hi, my name is Victor and today I'm going to show you something I have shown some time ago but I didn't really show the full capacities of this and I'm going to show you where to get it at the end of the video and I'm show you how to get a lot of cool things for free as well. So, some time ago I showed um, Dynamo script that um, creates dimensions for lows stacked like this and it basically works that way this is uh, the dynamo player if you haven't used it it's a really powerful tool to use um, uh, pre-made scripts uh, with dynamo i have actually made a video about using Dynamo Player, so check out my videos on the channel. So, it is really simple, there are only three inputs. So first is select line, where we are selecting where we want to place these dimensions that we want to create. And that line has to be um, perpendicular to the wall, to the walls. And then we have to select the walls like this. The selection is going to ignore these windows that we have inside, so don't worry about them. And the last input, it's really optional. Delete line, true or false, so should we delete the line that we selected first, because it's just a detail line, so we don't really need it. So I'm actually going to say true this time. And then we hit on that run script, play button as I like to call it, and we get those dimensions. They are created here. Okay. And the line is deleted. But what I didn't show the last time is that we can actually use this same script in an elevation or a section. So, in an elevation or section view, I can do exactly the same. I'm going to select that line, for example, and let's select those two walls. I'm not going to delete the line. And when I run the script, I can see there is a single. dimension created with all those references from one side of the wall to the other side of the other wall with all the openings in the walls and of course if I select that line for example and those two walls I'm going to get those openings measured. And if you click on Edit in Dynamo, we can actually see what the script looks like in Dynamo, if we want to see that, of course. And it looks like this. Just a selection, filter, and a Python node. The other thing I wanted to show is um, um, the node that dimensions columns to the closest grid lines and I'm going to switch to menu here I'm going to drag the node set dynamo and this is how the latest version of the node looks like and if we search for it here 
column to width dimensions. This is the node inside the canvas. So what does it do? How do we use it? Well, we need to feed some columns. So I'm going to go to categories. And I'm going to select structural columns. And I'm going to select all elements of category. Select all elements in the entire project. Of course, if we want to, we can just make a selection here. But in this case, I just want to get all of them. And I'm going to do the same, exactly the same thing with the grids. I'm going to select grid lines here. Is that enough to make it uh, work? Let's see. Just first make some space. Yeah. That is kind of enough to create dimensions from each column to the closest grid line. Go to revitexperiments.com find out more about those scripts and watch the full videos on my channel and also linked here. When you go to the website um, you can get this free book. Uh, it contains 27 tips and tricks for high efficiency in Revit and you're not only getting the book when you subscribe actually, um, you're getting updates and also free scripts um, upon subscribing so if you want to give it a try you can unsubscribe at any time you want to and I'm never going to spam you with anything or sell your information so it's good to go and you can go to the download section And you can see that here in dimensions you can find those two scripts and of course the full video hi that explains I'm how it works today. so thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye